957 the Hog, the morning Hog Brew Review is on. Josh from SR Parade has brought us some great Oktoberfest primer flavors from Tampa Bay Brewing Company, Sam Adams, Abita, and more. Stick around. It's a morning Hog Brew Review on 957 the Hog. Hey, what's happening? It's morning Hog Brew Review time on The Morning Hog with Riggs and Steve and Josh from SR Parade. Yes, he's back. All right. Actually, he's All right. Right. Hey, Josh. What's up? Welcome back, buddy. It's Friday. It's Friday. We have a weekend to tackle. We were like, you know, it's like, it's August, it's Friday, can't really, you know, what do you do? Well, you get ready for October, right? Right, yeah, I mean, it's so, such cool weather out there, I figured yeah. we, we jump in the fall. Oh, sure. Fall yeah. beers. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's ice cold. I'm chilly. We'll, now, we'll, tur- we'll turn the heat up a little bit. Here. Right. It'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, usually, you know, we, we do these a little bit later in the year, but they are coming out earlier and earlier, so I figured, let's get ahead of it. Let's know? get in it. I don't, I don't blame you. Um, we're going to start off with our friends over there at Abita. Okay. Mm. This is their fall seasonal. All right. I believe, I believe you're right. Pecan ale? Pecan? Yes, sir. Pecan? Pecan. Pecan? So yes. says pecan. That's why I'll go pecan. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to go pecan. with... I'll go pecan. I'm sorry, but it's not pecan. There's there's only one E. Yeah. It's not two. Okay. It's not P. All right. That's uh, Steve's English lesson of the day. Doesn't really apply to reality. No. All right. Now, this is a, a nutty... There you go. Yeah. Design, mm. right? A nutty design, yeah. Uh, five point two percent alcohol. Okay. Um, I thoroughly enjoy this. Mm. It is brewed with Louisiana pecans, and it says "Go Nuts." Like, really? You know, oh, it does. Spell it, right? no, well, I wouldn't make it a joke. It's not go. G E A U X. I was following X. the corporate line. Almost yeah. got there. Silent oh, nice. X. Nice I know one. that that gets you sometimes. But. Gokes. Well, here's the thing. In, in real life, like if you put a bowl of uh, pecans in front of me, I'd be like, nah. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Or if you put a nut in something and cooked it, I'd be like, nah. But you put it in a beer, and it's completely great. Why is that? Right? I don't know. Oh, I mean, beer and nuts kind of go together. Yeah, that's true. They do. Classic pairing. Mm -hmm. They are. I wonder if you could eat pecans while drinking this beer. Whoa. He's a huge nuts guy. Try that this weekend. All right? Let us know your results here at 257-0324. This is a very good beer. It's very smooth. Right? Mm -hmm. Extremely smooth. So... One of the big things about fall beers is usually they're going to be on the maltier side. You're kind of getting away from those hops a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those, uh, we like to call them kind of winter warmer flavors. Right? Nutty, winter, roasty, winter warmer. nutty, sweet. Roasted, okay. Sweet a little bit. Um, and that's from roasting the malt, obviously. So you're getting a little bit of a darker beer. And uh, warm. Obviously, check out the YouTube channel. You can see what color these beers are. Uh, yes. Almost the whole line today will pretty much be right in that same line yeah. with some variations behind it. Okay. Mm. But very easy drinking beer. Uh, like I said, 5.2% alcohol. I like it. You know. It's, it's. These are my favorite style beers. Yeah, personally. And this, and if you're, I mean, obviously, you need to get ready for fall of the season. Maybe not fall of the weather, but it, the, these beers work either way. Well, I mean, August first, <laughs> we start getting our pumpkin beers, our <laughs> fall beers. I'm sure if you go out to retail stores, you're already seeing your Halloween decorations, oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Sure. Uh, so, yeah. The mind of sales. Uh, summer is over. That's right. I don't care if it's 110 degrees inside my house. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, cooling Woo. things down now, you have uh, you have more, but these are old uniform bottles right there. That's right. So our friends over there at Sam Adams, mm. obviously, one of the, their, it is their largest seasonal of the okay. year is Oktoberfest, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. really cool. It's when they have their variety pack. Okay. So this one is their beer fest variety pack. Okay. Oktoberfest, beer fest. Beer fest. Uh, All right. Gotcha. Um so you're getting four different flavors in this variety, twelve pack. So we're going to start off with Oktoberfest. Okay, Oktoberfest. That's it. I mean, it's can't it's got, go wrong. Technically, uh, it's an October thing, but I mean, don't let's not sleep on September. Well, actually, Oktoberfest is in September. Oh, you just yeah, wait yeah. till September well, that's ends. Right, the OG, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah, the, yeah. the original Oktoberfest is in September. That's right. Um, the great thing about Oktoberfest beers, in my opinion, is they are good after October people. Yes, They're delicious. <laughs> mm. uh, it is, like I said, I, I love these styles of beer, but Mars and Lagers are my favorite style of beer, um, just right. because of that. Oh yeah, roastiness, the malt, mm. uh, right up front, a little bit of a tiny bit of the hops in there. Completely different flavor yep. profile. It seems that's really good. It's, it's You're like right. A whole whole different thing. Five point three percent, so you can crush these. Oh, you know. all day. Look at that. I mean, and that's only and that one's small. That's like one percent. And I think they brought back. <laughs> the official Oktoberfest there over in Germany should be back this year. Yeah. They may have had it last year, I don't recall, but I know COVID shut it down for okay. a couple years there. Um, right. One thing I would I still have not done myself personally, but I would love to. 
Oh, I, I mean, you know, when you you can find a beer party here in the states and have a good time, but I would think over there that's going to be attention, full folks. Tilt. Yeah, Uh-oh. I've been to the real Oktoberfest in Munich at least once, maybe twice. Maybe. Yeah. I know, I know. I feel once. like that would be one of the things. You a, you I know a, for once. Were you a toddler or did you? I was in elementary school. No. Oh, okay. So you really Fourth, did. fifth, sixth grade, yeah. something like that. Really late, late 80s. Late 80s. Hmm? What kind of beers did you get into? Uh, they didn't let me partake. Yeah, I'll say. I knew it. Womp, womp. So but uh, once, my parents got pretty lit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's pictures of my dad and my uncle. Their hats are all cocked sideways. <laughs> They got those huge beer signs, and they're just like, oh. That's awesome. <laughs> For real. I would pretty, say memories, cool. but they probably don't remember. No, that. yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, it's do- with documented memories only because somebody took a Polaroid of it probably back then. Uh, all right, so Sam has dealt out the standard, right? And now we go weird. So mm. this Ooh. is one I have not had before. Okay. I that bottle it, is cool. Or at least in our market, this is exclusive to this variety pack. Okay. Uh, this is Flannel Fest. Mm. Flannel Fest? It's a great looking bottle. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, that great. is really, really cool. cool. Yeah. Um, those classic oh, great job. Fest colors, stuff like that. Oh. It is a Munich Dunkel, so it's going to be a little bit of a darker beer. Okay. Well. I haven't had a, a Dunkel in a while. This one will dunk on you. I bet. So the, um, what, is, what is the ABV on this guy? This one is 4.8. No, sorry, 5.2. Oh, 5. 2. whoops, okay. I guess I should look at my paper, huh? So what is the dunkel, oh. what, what is the dunkel but to, uh, after an ale and everything else and a lager? What's the dunkel? Dunkel's going to be, like I said, a little bit darker, a little bit maltier. Um, mm, smells good, for sure. Yeah. Like I yeah. said, I haven't had this one yet. Oh, that's real Ooh. good. Mm, oh, that's, that's not anything little, like uh, the other two. Like a, it's sweet, but it's a sharper, like a... Almost a little bit of chocolate in there. The yeah. You get some of that? Okay. Right yeah, at the very not, end. Not, not, say not the very first. End. So it, it's it's very similar to the Oktoberfest uh, up front, but it finishes much different. Yes. As far as uh, a lot more of that roast malt, a little bit sweeter, almost to the point where you're getting a little bit of chocolate in there. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Very enjoyable. Very active on the back, too. I like yeah. it. I like that. Wow, that's fun. Flannel Fest. So it's unrelated to, you know, like Eddie Vedder and the Seattle scene. This has nothing to do with that. No. It's a Boston, yeah. Sam Adams, Boston yeah, yeah. period. It's very few famous hmm. uh, sort of uh, grunge acts out of Boston. Hmm. <laughs> Fair. We can, make a, we can make a quick list to be like a. Didn't, said, didn't, yeah, I didn't say it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Isn't uh, Godsmack? Yeah. yeah. Not really grunge. Yeah. How dare <laughs> Are we taking a break now? Yeah, I guess yeah, we're going to gonna settle this. Yeah. Stick around. More Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 Hog. Steve, what the hell are you talking about? Godsmack is grunge. 95.7 Hog, Morning Hog Brew Review. We're in the midst of it. Josh Messar Parat. We're delving into the early edge of Oktoberfest, but it's really not early. I mean, Oktoberfest in the beer industry, of course, you know, starts like in April, pretty much. <laughs> it feels May, that way. something like that. Literally Octo- or, uh, August 1st. August 1st. Well, we're, 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 we are well into a set of brews. Now, we're in the Sam Adams sampler right, right. now, right? Yeah, so we had that Abita Econ Ale to okay. start with. Uh, then we are in the midst of the variety pack now, okay. the, the Beer Fest variety pack. So I we do Oktoberfest. I love it. Flannel Fest. Okay. Now... Usually, I'd probably do these the other way around, but we're finishing with a special product, so I want to kind of switch it up a little bit. Oh, okay. So, this one science. is also exclusive to the variety pack. It is called Hoppy Lager. Oh, okay. Pretty self explanatory, right? Well, it's, it's probably a lager, huh? I like That's the name. Slightly hoppy. I like okay. the name a lot. Oh, okay. So, I see what you're saying. A little bit lighter. There. Ooh, okay. definitely, huh? It's a, a, big, a big switch from our first three 4.8%. Ooh. In today's set. Oh, wow. Our beer set. You can definitely smell. The hops. Oh, yeah. For sure. Definitely a switch. They call this, they say that's refreshing as an autumn. Is this, is, would this be a beer that's on that cusp between like a, like a hoppy IPA and a lager or something? Is that what we're? We'll find out. Sniffing hmm. out. Let's taste it and find out. That's a good balance. Good happy medium. That's really nice. Oh, I yeah. like it. Typically, you're not, not, not getting, too bitter. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm a fan. I like to nice, drink. Nice, easy drinking. Yeah. Smooth. That would be refreshing on an autumn hike if yes. I ever hike. And if you were and if you were going through a, uh, a, a <laughs> an array of traditional Oktoberfest beers, right. this would be a great switch. Well, it, 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 it would be a nice break in between. Like, if, exactly. If you're going through uh, this. Yeah. Need something. Palate cleanser. Exactly. 
I may just take all these and give you guys the other ones. I, don't know, I want this. this I don't know, that's my, my spirit. You better, right better keep your hands off mine. Yeah, I'm holding it with three fingers. Oh uh, well, that's very okay. That's a very interesting, nice, and and only in that sampler. Correct. Only yep. in the variety pack. Mm, okay. Can so buy all twelve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's all right. It's not a, not a bad thing. Sam always does you right. It's not like Sam does a variety pack and says you deal with it. Yeah, right. They don't do that. They say you'll drink them all and you'll like it. Yeah, usually. You- a lot of variety packs, you always find one you're not a huge fan yeah. of. Sam Adams, I don't think does that. You know, I, I, I like all of them. Those are the ones you save for last, though. No, I just give them away. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait, what did you save for How last? How dare you? So, out of that, there's a reason I saved this for last. Because yeah. the next one. This is Jacko. Jacko. Hmm. Jacko. On Jack. my backo. <laughs> don't even know what he's... You know, he's, uh, he's, he's so, this like, is a pumpkin ale. Yeah. He's talking about Michael Jackson... Was uh, is always on Steve's bed. He's in a, a, a. He's like he's like Michael Jackson's always singing in my head. Is what Steve's talking about. I'm sure. So this is a a pumpkin beer already. Okay. All right. Uh, oh wow. Oof. Four point four percent. Whoa. Okay. Smell that. All right. Whew. So you're gonna get, get some, a little bit of cinnamon nutmeg. Hmm. It smells just like a pumpkin pie. And by the dude. way, cinnamon and nutmeg are not the same thing, and they can play together. Right, I mean, obviously, they're in the, they're both in the beer. Well, they have two different names. Yeah, well, for sure. But I think (laughs) some people would tell you that they're the same thing. That was an instant uh, that that the switch from the the hop lager to the pumpkin. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. can we back it up slightly? Yeah. Are you under the impression that cinnamon and nutmeg are the same? I I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Those those words came out of his mouth. Saying that about him. Somebody gave. By the way, I went to. uh, I was recently in the Greater Cincinnati area, and they have this chili uh, chili dog uh, chain. Yep. And they put a nutmeg in the stuff. So you're surprised. eating a hot dog, and then you have this sweet nutmeg flavor. It doesn't seem right. Nutmeg gets put in a lot of stuff you wouldn't think about, right. to be honest. Yeah. Um, but these are those classic pumpkin spice flavors, right? Cinnamon, nutmeg. This finishes very nicely. Oh, yeah. Uh, it finishes sweet. Um, it does, yeah. But it, pumpkin beers, you kind of want some of that sweetness, That's right? kind of a good thing. Right. I think it good. tastes pretty darn good. This may be available in six packs. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Um, it's whether or not we're able to get them in stock. But as of right now, you'll only find them in the variety pack. But keep, like I said, keep your eyes peeled. You may find this them. Is, uh, this is the most exclusive Sam variety pack I've heard about in a while. Because yeah, you've got three of those babies that you might not get anywhere else. Right. You better you better go get it. Well, you know what? You can get them. I was just thinking. I, where? Um, Like at a store or something. Or, oh, or, or where else? SRProd.com slash beer finder. It'll tell oh. you what stores you can go get them. That's right. Yeah, I meant to mention that. Sorry. Hmm. We got, I got all nutmegged out. I got a little crazy. <laughs> all right. You have one more. This is a can. It's our only can of the day. Big boy can, too. 16 okay. ounces. Ooh. Okay. I, I bet you'll recognize that logo a little bit. Whoa. Looks like his face is melting. Like I said, this is something we've had before. Um But it is a staple for this season. Uh, this one people kind of clamor after. Okay. Tampa Bay Brewing Company. Yes. Their gore's gone wild. Oh, yeah. Right? I know this That's right. beer. I love this beer. It's, uh, don't thank they, don't you they so much. Change, it is a fan th- This beer changes a little bit every year, right? Yeah, definitely. Little, um, mm. But unlike some of the other pumpkin beers out there that just kind of have some of those winter warmer spices or pumpkin spices. Right. This one tastes like a pumpkin pie. Okay. So you get with the lactose. The lactose is in there, and you're getting a little bit of that graham cracker crust, all mm-hmm. that stuff. I mean, it's very impressive beer. It me- it drives me crazy that you can do that with just like a beer will have yeah. that kind of flavor. This is great. Do you, like you drink it and you hold it on your tongue. Yep. You got one. You do that. I think one of the bigger differences is it has some vanilla in there too. Yeah. So yeah. that's what's yeah tying everything together and kind of like I said, a pumpkin pie, six percent alcohol, easy drinking. Can you imagine? If the geniuses over there at Tampa Bay Brewing Company turned this beer or uh, added to this beer, added a candle, right? Can you imagine a, a, a candle with that aroma, with the flavors to turn that into aroma? Steve, you make candles at home. Maybe you could try to. I'm all ears. All right, good. Are you the wax man? Yeah, he, he does. You the, could say that. He does this thing with like bacon grease and some borax and uh, <laughs> and beer, and in this case, beer. Don't He'll, forget the lie. Yeah, just I, please don't tell the authorities right now. Yeah, with all those ingredients. Yeah. In a it's way. development stage right now. His neighbors are, are totally fine with it, so we're good. Uh, but this is outstanding. It's fantastic. And you know, it, like I said, it's one of the larger requests for this, uh, this season. Um, available in draft and package. Oh. It's out there now. Ooh. 
check out the website. SRProd.com slash beer finder. Wow. This is in draft as well. Yeah. Oh, I can't, I've never, I've got to have this on draft too. Yep. It it's changes delicious. a little bit, right? Sometimes it, it's a little a bit. A little bit, but yeah. delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, I want it. I want it all. Well, there you go. Those are some of the flavors that you can get ready for Oktoberfest. Well, let's face it. It's already up on you. And uh, next week, Josh will give you some recommendations on what Halloween costumes to get, <laughs> uh, where to put your decorations. Your Speaking of which, tree. keep your eyes peeled on uh, our social media websites, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. And you'll slowly start seeing the events pop up for our Oktoberfest events. I believe oh. Deland may be doing something. Oh. Beach Street's absolutely going to do something. Oh, we yeah. Do something over at Flagler Tavern in New Smyrna. So just oh. keep your eyes peeled. The dates, times, all the events are going to pop up. So keep yeah. an eye out. All right. There you go. Friday. Get the flavors now and uh, get ready for October. Cheers. Cheers. Peel your eyes.